<laughs> and we are live, We're Jeremy. live uh, from Pensacola. Pensacola, Gulf Breeze. Pensacola, Gulf Breeze. Florida. Is that where we are? We are. Mm, they, the, they're going to know where we're at now. The, uh -oh. mo the mobs are going to come. I feel like every time I touch my mic, it makes this weird noise. It does. So I'm going to do it right now while the music's playing. <laughs> Bam. It's so funny because, like, we have to, like, set up our equipment each time. So, like, it's not set up every time. So every time we're like, was it like this last time? Was it you know, I've got this preset um, almost down pat. Well, that, but now our mics aren't preset. No, they're never preset. They're not even preset right now. Like, I don't like where exactly. my mic is right now, and I really want to move it. But whatever. What are you going to do? How are you? Man, I'm good. I hadn't seen you in... On Thanksgiving, we didn't do one. And then last week... Yeah, we did one last week. Yeah, but it was on a Tuesday. It was. It was a Tuesday. It's a Thursday now. I never want to go nine days without seeing you again. cannot go that long without seeing you. Nope. And you know what's crazy is that we make it a point not to talk to each other. But then we miss each other. But then I forget to tell you stuff that I remember during the yeah. week. Like a lot of times I would text you something. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, remember this? But I don't do it. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I'm going to save it. What I need to do is write it down. Write it down. You need to get Evernote. Dude, you keep telling me that. Evernote's I, awesome. That's I, what I use each week. Like, it's cool. Man, I've had it. I use it for, like, grocery lists. I use it for everything. Shout out to Evernote. Ooh, ooh, the green elephant. Man, yeah. is it that good? I like it. What about reminders? I don't know if it does. That. It probably does. But see, I use my calendar for that. Yeah. I yeah, I've got a lab for that. My calendar has everything. It's like breathe at this moment. I'm like, okay, let me breathe. So, yeah, good Thanksgiving. Yeah, we already talked about Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we did. Because we talked last week. We did. I just got back. We didn't meet last Thursday because I went and saw Lady Agaga. How was that? We call her Mother Monster. Oh yeah, that's what her fans are. Are you uh, are you a monster? Uh, we're called little monsters, and she's mother monster. Uh -huh. And then everybody does their claws up. She's like, put your claws in the air, and you're like, wow. She's also right. I'm telling brand. you, one of the most eclectic group of people I've ever seen at a concert in my life. Hmm. There was a lot of, of course, you're gonna have like shout out to the gays. Of course, you're gonna have a gay people there. Yeah. But then you had like extreme gays. Like there was this one guy who had a sequin black and red suit. I mean, he was dressed with a T. Then you had your drag queens who looked better than Lady Gaga. Even yeah. She was just like, you look better than I do. Like, they dressed like, I, like they mimicked her. Like, one had, like, this spiky outfit on, like, to a T. People were taking pictures with them. Then you had a lot of older people there. Hmm. Like, I was telling my friend, I was like, did AARP, like, hand out free tickets? Like, a lot of older people. So, I mean, like, every kind. We thought it was just going to be a lot of gay people. We did. Yeah. We thought it was, you know, but no. Every kind of collected people, like, old, young, gay, straight. It was the coolest thing. Yeah, well, you know, um, Lady Gaga does the new uh, Life Alert commercials. <laughs> it was probably. Yeah. She fell and she can't get up. And um, then she just comes in there and sings to him and leaves. It's, she it's really was mean. amazing, though. She, um, it was in our, it was in Tampa, which is very near Orlando. And so one, um, at the end of each concert, I guess like, if you're her fan, it's like there's one song she plays and then like all this stuff started getting thrown to the stage. We're like, what's happening? So I guess people throw notes and teddy bears and roses to her, you know? And she picks one of them up and reads it. And she starts reading this letter, and it was really, like, really crazy. And and the guy wrote a, like, a thank you note saying, I just want to thank you so much. I have your lyrics tattooed on my arm. And he's like, I just want you to know that um, we used to dance to your music at Pulse. You know, the nightclub they had the right, shooting. Yeah. Because, I, I, I mean, it's not that you forget about it, but, I mean, we were there where Pulse happened. You know what I mean? And so it was just like, whoa. Like, I even get, I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking about it. Yeah. And so she went, she left the stage and went down there and found it because he was right, right there in the front row. And like he brought his friend with him, and she took a selfie with him and stuff. Like she's just legit. Like she she dances and all, but um, she doesn't lip sync. I mean, she's. I mean, it was just it was like one of the best concerts. Like three hours. Dang. She's like a dolly. Like Dolly does that. Like three hours. You know what I mean? Like yeah. no open act. Adele did the same thing. Like no open act. I yeah. mean to have that energy. I mean, and because she's Lady Gaga, tons of outfit changes. I mean, like boom. You know. Oh, I bet. Yeah. But it was a good show. Really good. She, um, if you ever get a chance to check out the Netflix documentary on her, amazing. Like you just learned so much about her life. Oh, so. the one where she blows up that building. No, that would be not that one. Oh, which one are you talking about? Too soon. Just kidding. Um, this is just about her life. Like, I remember when she did the Super Bowl. Remember when she jumped down and everybody was talking about. When she oh did the yeah. Super Bowl. So it's like leading up to that and like how she got to that and her dealing with that because she's got like lupus or like some kind of like a neurological thing. So, like, she has a lot of back trouble, so you, like, see her dealing with that. But yet, she'll, like, get some therapy, she'll go do her show, and then she'll, like, literally almost collapse and still keep going. Like, she just, 
she's like the Energizer Bunny. She just keeps going. Yeah. You know? So she's she's good. It was a good concert. And then went to Disney for one day. Finally got to ride the Avatar ride. Um, we literally got there because um, it's normally like three or four hour wait. Mm-hmm. Like it's like the everybody kept saying it's the best ride ever. So we're like, well, we're gonna get there as soon as they open Animal Kingdom. But then we found out they had ma- extra magic hours. That's for people who like if you have um, if you're on the resort, you get to get in the parks early sometimes. So then we're like, damn it, you know they're gonna get there for us. And so it was almost a two hour wait. But we're like, let's do it. Yeah, might as you well. know we're gonna do it. We're already here. So we did. It was actually only about an hour and fifteen minutes. But it was the coolest ride I've ever known. Like, best ride like I've ever ride. Ever. That you've ever been on ever? Ever. Ever. Huh. Like, legit. Like, it's you sl- It's like a bike you're in. Have you ever been to Disney? Yeah, but you're long, long, ride, long, so you long time ago. Or no, nothing no, like that. Nothing okay. like that. It's hard to describe, but anyway, and I'm an Avatar fan anyway. And so it just, there's two right. Ri- so one's like a river little ride. It's, it's crappy, I think. And then the other one's this one. It's called... Flight of Passage or something like that, but it's you're actually on one of the little creatures, yeah. And you're on, and so it feels like you're on it, and you smell the trees, and like I mean, it's like legit. So anyway, it's cool. So that was it. So there was la di da. So do they still have? It's a small world. Yes. Are you at, are you kidding me? Oh, it's not gonna go away. Like there's people like because we were watching this video like things you don't say to a Disney fan, and there's like that's one of the things like do they still have? Yeah. Oh so, really? So that's like a thing that you don't. Oh, ask. you you like you just I mean because people are just so die hard about it, you know, like. Well, the thing like is, me and Grace and Adam, people are just like, is the first thing I'm like, is Grace and Adam still on? I'm like, bitch, yeah, it's on. Oh yeah. You better what? And I like getting all defensive, like I work at you know Grace Sloan Memorial, you know. Dude, Chucky, you know I got a fear of yeah. Chucky. And Chucky back, dude, when I went, I was terrified. Was he in It's a Small World? <laughs> well, I was so, like, I guess almost traumatized, dude, by yeah. Chucky when I was a kid. I didn't know this. And then we go into It's a Small World <laughs> and all these dolls. And ah. my dad loves ah. to make fun of me still to this day. Is I start so freaked out. So it's like, It's a Small World. I'm like, no. Ah! Dude, all yeah. these dolls. How old were you? I was six, oh, five. Yeah. That's Maybe, legitimate. but it was. It is. I can still see Chucky coming creepy. after me, man. Yeah, and of course I can just still vaguely see it. But I remember crying and screaming over "It's a Small World." Ugh, it's one of those rides that if you ever get stuck on, you just want to shoot yourself. Is it's, it bad? Well, no, because you're stuck hearing that same song over and over. Like in other words, you're already hearing it, but imagine you get stuck and they're like, "We're having technical difficulties." Yeah, it's a small world. Like someone shoot me now. Yeah. Are you on water? Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. In a boat. I'm just trying to remember. Like. Yeah. So you so, can't yeah. really get out. I saw this right before Thanksgiving. I saw this show on Food Network. It's actually Cooking Channel because there's Food Network and there's Cooking Channel now. You know, I still watch them. I'm not a cook. I still watch them. I like it. It's called Tiny Cooks. Have you seen it? Are they? Have you heard of it? Mm-mm. Dude, it will blow your mind. I'm just thinking a bunch of midgets. Blow your mind. That are cooking. Blow your mind. Blow your mind. Is that not right? Actually, you know what? We need to say that for the aftercast. Because that way we can, like, put up the video of it, like, clip of it. You know what I mean? Okay. We'll do that. But, yeah. So stay tuned now for Now you got me intrigued. Stay tuned for the time. Because I said what I said not, and no, you no, didn't no, respond. No, they're not little people who, um, which I think politically great. They're not midgets anymore. They're little people. Yeah. Sorry for the political it's PC. It's, it's like Whoopi Goldberg. Like, I love her, like, uh, on The View. She's like, well, one day we were called Negroes. One day we were called colored p- folks. And now we're blacks. And sometimes we're African Americans. She's like, I don't know what we're called. You know? Nobody caught me Nobody, up on the, I can't yeah. say midget anymore. Yeah, exactly. So you don't know. Like, yeah. it's so funny. So anyway, so yeah, say that for the African. A little tease for your YouTube subscribers. Oh, yeah. go! Ch- I tell you what, this might be a good plug. Plug. We actually have a, um aftercast that's on YouTube. Yes. And uh, Jeremy basically dominates the whole thing. <laughs> I do but I sit there that's and funny. listen. It's good. But, yeah. And then um, we're going to be doing some um, What Was I Tasting pretty soon. Yep. Some fruit cake and some whatever else. So we just want some holiday goodies that we've never had. Like wassail. You never had wassail. Uh-uh. So I'm gonna try to find. Did some you wassail. say you? Uh, did you say you never had eggnog? I never had eggnog. Cool. So That's we gonna had be a eggnog, wassail, fruit cake, and um, I, I mean, I wish I could do a fried turkey because you never had one, but I don't know how to get that because yeah. I, I ain't gonna get one for you. But yeah. Anyway, so what um you been up to? Same. I feel like I've been told you about my whole life. I had no, man. Um, mine's been. Pretty simple. Went up and saw my mom, which I feel like. Did, didn't we talk about this last? Yeah, we talked about that. Okay, so, so just so this after Thanksgiving. So I guess within a, a week and a half, what have you been up to? Um, I tell you, what's crazy is um, I ended up having to go up to my hometown. Yeah, I still 
go up to the doctor up there because I'm one of them. No, it cracks me up. Dude, you, I just, it's the thing. Which I did the same. When I first moved here, uh, Dr. McDaniel in Sarah Land, like he was my doctor, like all through my teenage years, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I was sick, I would drive. So I can understand that. I mean, but that was an hour away, but yours is a lot more than an hour. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little ridiculous. How, how far? And you know, my sister's like a doctor. And yeah. Oh my so, God, and you're a brother in law. Yeah, I know. Which, so, which he doesn't do like um, colds and stuff. He's like a. Well, I go up he's there. He's orthopedic, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's cool. like surgeon yeah. and Candace has allergies, so yeah. I don't really, you know. Yeah. And I could go to him, but anyway, I still go up there. Do you get like a, you really, get, do you still get a, like a lollipop? Is that why you go? Well, yeah. I get yeah. a little lollipop. There was an episode of Friends about that. Like, <laughs> like uh, Ross and Rachel, um, they had a new baby and they were trying to find a, a pediatrician for him. Oh, yeah, I think and, I've seen and that. And they couldn't find out Ross was still seeing his pediatrician from a kid. Yeah, and he I was do trying remember to hide that episode. It. And it was so, so yeah. Yeah. So, so sorry. it's going to take me a, a while to probably stop going. But I ended up running to a buddy of mine. He was a little bit older than me. And, you know, he was from my home, like, where I grew up, grew up. Not yeah. just, like, Demopolis. Old school friend. And um, he ended up, and we were talking, and he showed me his hand, and he points at his arm, and he had blown his pinky off with a shotgun. What? Yeah, and I'm like, whoa. God, so I need to hear the story. And he goes and tells me the story and Chase, his brother's there with him. He's like, yeah, well, my mom called me and she's like, oh, my gosh, John shot himself. And then kind of like hung up the phone or come here because John shot himself. And so in his mind, he's thinking, oh, my gosh, he's done committed suicide. Yeah. And I hate when people do that. They'll like tell oh. something real quick and then they're like, go. And you're like, what really happened? Yeah. yeah. Well, he tells me a story, which I don't tend, I don't know if I believe the story. Because it's... But either way, he's missing a pinky. Totally. I mean, he definitely got his pinky shot off. It's gone. But, you know, he said that the gun fell and it went it's off and he grabbed the thing. Glove. Well, Just... he had four gloves on. And so it was, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> hey, Lily Dog. I've actually got a dog here. Say, we, have, we have a special guest in the house, Lily Dog. Yeah. Now, I'm is dog her name sitting. Lily and you call her Lily, Lily Dog? Like, my dog sings boom, but I like to say boom, boom. So is it really Lily Dog or is it Lily? Well, she goes by Leroy. Leroy. And then I call her Lily. No, oh. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, her name is Lily, and I She's just call her so Lily She's so sweet, y'all. She is so fluffy. What kind of dog is she? She is a golden retriever, but she's a... Is that what Lassie was? No, she was a... T an English... T Let's uh, find out. Oh, my God. Thank you, Google. What is... What, what was, was Lassie? An English what terrier. What type of dog was Is that Lassie? even a real thing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> English Terrier. What's a rough collie? Oh, okay. God. So, anyway, I so love yeah, dogs. that's definitely what she was. Have you ever been a cat person ever, or are you always a dog person? You know what? I don't mind cats. I really don't. I think they're so sneaky. I literally feel like, because there was a show back in the, what movie was that? That the, the like, trying to smother the owner in the sleep? Like, like what? To, the yes. cat came alive? I can't remember. I want to say Drew Barrymore. The cat came alive. Like the cat dead. came alive. Anyway, so the cat like trying to kill someone, and so I, every time I think of a cat, I think of like I want to like they cannot be around me because I feel like they're gonna, you know. So it just laid on the yeah the baby's face. No, like on the on the adult's face, like like the cats were possessed or something like that. Hocus Pocus. No one Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus has a talking cat though. I forgot his name, but he's adorable. Remember the talking black cat because it used to be somebody else. Um, and he came back from the dead. And he, oh yeah, remember he couldn't die because remember they ran over the cat and then he blew his body blew up and you're like, why aren't you dead? Oh my god, yeah. yeah. But it didn't talk. I just can't stand the the hairballs that sound in they. It's like, hey, hey. oh yeah. And then it goes, Bleh. that is the worst. My old roommate years ago, years ago, had one and we had like hardwood floor. So I'd be walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night and then I'd step in a hairball. I'm like, done. done. Wow, yeah, I couldn't do that. Uh, why don't dogs have hairballs? Um, I guess they just don't clean themselves as, as much. much. Yeah, but I just so cats are sweet, but they're very f almost ninety nine percent of the time. If you have two cats, because most people who have cats they can't get just one. Most dog owners have one. Yeah, you know, so most cat owners have more than one, mm -hmm. and you always they're opposite. One's all lovey, and the other one's either gonna like, or either it's gonna be shy. You know what I mean? You never have the same kind of cat in the same house that acts the same way. I've never seen that. So if anybody's listening and you've had that, you know, 
Did you just shush her? Well, I did. She hit my microphone, and you know, every uh, time you touch this mic. But I love that you put your finger up to it to shush her. Like, she's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, Look Daddy. at her. Look oh, how smart look she is. Look at that. Uh-huh. Sorry, Lily Dog. She's like, look, if I'm not welcome in this podcast, I don't want to be Sorry, part of this Lily podcast. Sorry, Lily Dog. So what was, like, a favorite, um, you know, like, like me growing up, like, every Christmas would have, like, a theme Christmas. Like, I had, like, my He-Man Christmas or my Ninja Turtle, you know, whatever was popular that year. So what was one of your best Santa Claus experiences as a child? Or Christmas presents as a child? Um, Oh, Christmas presents. I can do Christmas presents. A Godzilla I got... <gasps> Like a little uh, back in the day when Godzilla, they came out with the movie. Yeah. Um, I got the Godzilla. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> it was a three foot Power Ranger, the white Power Ranger. Uh, and I remember taking it around with me everywhere. Yes. But nope, I'm, I'm fixing to beat it. Real talking Bubba. I don't remember if you could remember this thing. It was a little thing and you would squeeze his hand. And my mom said she had to go everywhere. Was it a bear? <sighs> yeah. It was like a bear, and it was real talking bubba, and it would have these few sayings. And then it got, like, weird because... Uh, <laughs> let me see it. Do you have a picture? That's it. That's it. Oh, my gosh. So Dude, funny. do they still sell those? Talking bubba. What's funny is I call my brother bubba. Dude, I As a want kid, one. I couldn't say Patrick. I'm buying it right now. You can. Um, $80, $49 on eBay. $80? Yeah. Forty six on Etsy. You don't want one on Etsy. That's like a homemade one. Yeah, they like made it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even. I guess his weird like phrases. It's like a built-in camera. Oh wait, here's a thirty-dollar one. That's not bad. Yeah, but that one has Down syndrome. I don't want that don't one. Say that. <laughs> well, oh it's thirty dollars. Real talking, Bubba. Goodness say that. You're so, you just say the most controversial yeah. crap. Hey, I've ever heard I don't even life. care. Like the filter is gone with you. Anyway. Yep. Mine Midgets and Down syndrome. I, I forget know. political correctness. God, I don't care about it. From life. Um, <laughs> from life. From you can life. I never live. Mine was because, like, I would always wake up like to Santa Claus or whatever, and so it would have, um, like, when I remember when Ninja Turtles was popular, like everything was Ninja Turtles. I had the van, everything. Yeah. You know? And then, like, one of my favorite, though, was my He Man year, because when I had the Castle Grey Skull and all that, you know. But I think my favorite, though, was my brother, because, um, you know, my dad wasn't really around that much, so my brother had to step up a lot. And so um, he got me a um, my very first Nintendo. And so, like, it just changed. I mean, game over, huh? T- changed my life. Yeah. Like, my life. And then I remember um, one other, like, this was back when um, they made the first Star Wars box set on a VHS. And I wanted it for Christmas. And my mom thought I already said that. And she's like, Oh, you didn't say you wanted it? I was like, Yeah, I did. I really want that. So, like, literally, I could just tell they didn't have it. So somebody went to Blockbuster that night and got it because Blockbuster never closed. They're like a Chinese food restaurant, they don't close right, during yeah. the holidays. And so I remember, so just something like that. I think the reason why, because the fact that my brother saved up money to give me the Nintendo and then like the whole Star Wars, like they left. So those are just special presents that even as a kid, I didn't think, you know what I mean? But as right. an adult, I'm like, oh my God, look what they did to give me that present. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And then um, my brother, he, um, he just, his work, like he's like the Santa Claus for his work. And so it's really cool. That, so they'll like go around and like we um, go to like the projects or whatever, Mobile and Pritchard and everything and like, like they'll have like a list of kids who was recommended oh, them. Cool. Yeah. So it's just to see that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know something about the holidays and I know everybody's like, we should do this year round, but there's something about the holidays. Just, you see more toy drive. It puts you, see you more, into it's just, the, it's just yeah. it, you know, and it's, 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 I love that. Like even today I was watching, have you ever watched the show, the wall mm-hmm. on NBC? You need to watch it. Like, you will like, it's really, it's just this cool game show. But like, at least we were trying to win like millions of dollars. And I'm sitting there like crying. I'm like, I just want them to win it. Like I don't know, because I text somebody today. It's like I'm just want to cry. And they're like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "No." I was like, "I'm just ha- super happy." Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I have the most perfect life, but you know, I feel like we. I'm doing a podcast that I've been wanting to do for so long. You know, I do trivia. I enjoy it. I have an awesome job that I enjoy. I have a job. Period. You know, <laughs> right? And so it's just sometimes like when I see it, just makes me like I cry, but like it's a happy kind of cry. You know what I mean? Dude, and. It's good that you look at anyway. the, the positive side of things, man. Yeah. Because it's all about perception. Yeah. If you look at the negative, you're going to find negative, man. Mm-hmm. You look at the positive, you're going to find positive. So, yeah, yeah, that's good. I am, like, the kind of person that, like, I because I've always struggled with depression off and on throughout my life. But then, like, when there's times where I'm, like, super happy, you know what I mean? That's what's weird. Like, I could cry sad or cry happy. So, it's just really weird. So, I don't yeah. know. So, I just didn't know, like, your favorite holiday movie, or not movies, but memories and everything. Yeah, man, I don't 
I don't really have like holiday memories because yeah. I we didn't really have like a tradition. Yeah. Um, but those are three gifts that really stand out as like a kid. So we do everything Christmas Eve, my family. Uh huh. So Christmas Day is actually sad for me, like because there's nothing to do. Like, well, as a kid, we went to my dad's family or my grandmother's family, you know. So younger, we had stuff to do. Right. But as an adult, you know, it's just my yeah. mom cooks a breakfast and. My dad comes over, and the rest of the day, I'm like, let's go see a movie or something. Like, it's so, to me, and then Christmas night, I'm like a wreck. I'm sad because it's over. You know what I mean? I'm oh, like, yeah. <laughs> it's over. Because it's just like this big buildup, you know? Oh, oh, it's here, it's here. And then it's like. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, man. You love it. I do. Yeah, you, you, you know, love it. I love yeah. Christmas. So, like, in like the week after Christmas, is the same thing. I'm just like. So it's such a limbo, like even you're working all, because you know you're gonna have that other, because New Year's is coming, so that whole week, you know, you're just like, what do we do, you know? So I don't know. So it's just like, so that's the thing that we always do. We always do. Um, when mom as a kid, we always got to open like one um, little present, because the next morning we'd have like all our other yeah, presents, same. You know? We always did one on Christmas Eve. So yeah, but we like it. Like, and I think growing up, because I had my niece and nephew. So it was just like it, it switched, you know what I mean? Because then, like, you know, we had my niece and nephew and get to enjoy them as a kid. And, you know, that's sort of how the cycle goes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I even have, like, Christmas for my dog. Like, I, you know. I did the same like, thing. Like, Santa showed up for my dog. Man, I, yeah, I miss my dog. But I used to I used to get him. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Always. So. Yeah. So, I don't know. Just wanted to throw some little Christmas spirit out there. I like it. I don't know. Just wondering. So, remember one time we had a question. Where are we at? Time wise, twenty two minutes. Oh my god, y'all have plenty of us to listen to. So remember we asked it like a dinner um thing one time. Have we ever? Did we ever put that out? Never put it out. We never put it out. Mm-mm. So we had this one thing one time that it was five people. You would yeah, your top five people and you an honorable take to mention dinner. you got to have, but they were alive that you'd want to. So people that have been deceased. Mm-hmm. If you could have dinner with five people, and the reason I like to choose dinner because number one, the conversation can go longer. Mm-hmm. Breakfast and lunch is a little rushed. Plus, I feel like you might choose different people for breakfast or lunch. Mm-hmm. Someone you may not want to talk to long. So, five deceased people, famous, whoever, you would like to have over for dinner. Not as a zombie. Not as a zombie. Please, no. We don't want the finger falling off. And so. now we're at my place, and so we're just. At a Wherever you want to. We can invite them to Ruth Chris. If you want to be that fancy, we can go to my favorite place, P.F. Chang's. You know? And so we'll just go back and forth. So I will let you start. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Give but me a question sh- and then go there. Mm, 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 mm. And you may not have five. You may be satisfied with just one person, just a intimate. Dead, huh? Well, yeah, but don't think about that part because I don't want people to think of their zombie bodies. Well, I mean, you think of like the obvious people, but then I'm trying to go outside the box. What's obvious though? What's an obvious people? George Washington. Really though? I mean, yes, that may be obvious, but do you really want to have, have? You know what I mean? I mean, I just want to hear stories. I'm like, actually, right, like Abraham Lincoln would be because I, I think I'm like, so what happened now? I think Abraham Lincoln would be like he's one of my favorite presidents that I, I mean, I don't personally know him, but. Like Reagan and and uh, because I grew up with Reagan, you know, and Abraham Lincoln, I just think it'd be cool just to just to hear. He was just so ballsy, you know what I mean? The whole you never know the whole slave thing that he got rid of. In so so you're like, he was just like one of the most ballsy presidents I think we've had. Yeah, Washington, just because there's nobody ever did it before you. So like, what? what, Right, (laughs) he was the first one to really, you know. And they were losing, and he went across the river, you know, and it was just. You know, of course, you know, whatever people say about it, you got to think, you know, whenever they're like, oh, this country sucks compared to what? Exactly. Who are you comparing it to? And yeah. they're like, George Washington, this. Look, without George Washington, freakers, we wouldn't be freakers. here. Such yeah. language. Um, well, now I'm scared to talk because well, I'll, I'll say. I'll say it. All right. Lucille Ball, because she's my comedy hero. I don't like, know if I know who that is. Oh, my God. I, I love know. Lucy. Okay. You please say it, you, at least one episode. At least one episode you've seen. I've seen plenty. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. I love Lucy. Lucy Ball. She's just one of the reasons why I, I want to be like. I, I hope I'm funny, but she's one of the reasons why I feel like I'm funny. <laughs> so that's yours. So was did George Washington count as mine? I guess. I, guess it, I mean, maybe I okay. didn't really. You would just sound like it wasn't obvious. No, so mean, we'll go back George to you. Should be cool. Um, Have you already thought of yours? Because I mean, mine are straight I think up about on the, fly. All the time. 
then they switch in and out. And I'm like, eh, today at least he's not going to be there. But I know it's, I'm going to get biblical, but Joseph from the Bible, because he's like my favorite Bible person. But then again, like I'm putting these people together, then it'll be an awkward dinner. So, you know what I mean? Can you say Jesus? Yeah. You know, and <laughs> can you say Jesus? Because, I mean, of all people, you're like, well, yeah, I want Jesus. I mean, maybe. It depends on the dinner conversation. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. And then do you order wine? And then, or do you order water, let him turn it into wine? Like, what's the etiquette? Yeah. What do you eat? Do you have. Like, no, you take him to the most awesome place ever. But you got to realize, oh, he's Jesus, so you can take him to McDonald's, and he can make it the most awesome place. Now, ever. let me ask you, did Jesus eat pork? I don't know. Because technically, he wasn't, like, See, I don't thing. understand all that. That's the thing, like, people always talk about, like, gay people and, like, studying a Gomorrah and all this other shit and stuff. But, like, there's so many rules in Old Testament this, that, yeah, well, that people want to nitpick shit. You know well, what I mean? Well, Old Testament doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole point of Jesus coming. So totally, yeah. I feel like if you bring Jesus even to McDonald's, he makes it good. Because you can give him, like, you know, hey, here's a glass of water, boom. Thank you. You want Chardonnay, boom. We yeah. got it. And he's like, dude, if I, I don't this, like this, I'll turn it into whatever I want exactly. to turn it into. I heard this preacher one time. It was one of my favorite preachers I've ever heard. And he was talking about, like, how um, everybody wants to be all stuffy in church and everything. But he's like, Jesus didn't want, he wanted to party, too. Because his first miracle was uh, turning water into wine. So in other words, if he hadn't done that, the wedding would have stopped because they wouldn't have had wine to have kept having fun. So like, Jesus, he's a party. You know, he that's, he's who you want to invite to the party. Yeah, but it was also don't drink to get drunk. Exactly. But, but what, still. What was drunk back but then? Still though, but it, but it's, I look at it as though, like, imagine. Just get like, a little tipsy. A little tipsy. Just a little tipsy. But I think the water, I mean, I don't understand all the logistics of it. But I think just same thing, just food or anything. Like, you know, like if you want to have a party and you run out of that stuff, People are gonna have to go home, and you don't want to drink and drive. They're gonna be mad. Yeah, you, know? you don't so want to Jesus drink. Just like, poof, let the party keep going. Man, I wish we had alcohol, but we can't drive to the party. Jesus yeah. is like, nah, I got we you. We got this. Uber, you don't even know Uber. I got you. No. Nah. So Bam. all right, so you have Jesus and George Washington. Yours is <laughs> deep. Yours is deep. <laughs> yeah, I think mine, both of mine, were just random. So I have top, Joseph like from it. the Bible. I, Joseph was just like, if you ever knew Joseph, like, oh, he dude, just, I know a lot about him. He yeah. he was the biggest idiot in the Bible. But yet he was awesome because I always been told, like, don't tell people your dreams and all. And that's what he did. He went up to his brothers and he's like, I just want to let you know I had a dream the other day and you guys are going to be bowing down to me one day. And, mm. da, 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 da. and then they, then they're like, screw that. They kicked him. They sold they him into slavery. Him they, yeah. Yeah. And so, boom. And that's mm-hmm. why I'm like, you idiot. Like, you know, come loop around time. Yes, he did wind up becoming, they did wind up bowing down to him. But again, don't tell people that. You know, you got to keep your stuff. Protect it. You know what I mean? And so I learned He did the moment. He was like, he just found out. He's like, man, I got to go back. I'm going to tell him right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're buying that of me. Yep. Yeah, one of the few only times I ever really preached in the youth group was like I did a thing on Joseph. And I, he's just my favorite person, you know, besides yeah. Jesus. Code of, uh, yeah. robe of. Uh, Code of many colors. Yeah, Code of many colors. And my dolly singing a song about it. So. Am I? Am I? <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, who did you say? Joseph and Lucille Ball. Yeah. And I went with Jesus. So she. And George Washington. Uh-huh. Oh, so it is me. Then I'm trying to think of like a oh, Robin Williams. I mean, come on, yeah. Robin Williams. Like just because, like, just a genius. You know what I mean? And just to know what goes on in his brain. You know, um, Prince. Yeah, I mean, musical genius to go on his. No, you know. I'm not saying he's not okay, genius. Okay, I'm sorry. But your top I'm five sorry. people. Though. Sorry, Prince, you're out. Michael Jackson. Okay, thank you. Sorry, yeah, that's Prince. Sorry, like you, yeah. but. No. I'm saying we like him, but we the like top him. five people. But out of top five people. I still wouldn't even bring Michael Jackson. Because even though I love Whitney, I would still bring Michael. Because Michael was a genius, though. I mean, just the, just I love just to, to have like a dinner round table discussion of getting to people's brains. You know? That's why, like, if y'all hear our other one, which hopefully we'll post that, like, you know, I just like not geniuses per se, but just people who just know how to impact people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm stumping you. It's like a rare instance in a podcast that I'm leaving you speechless. Genghis Khan, if I could speak, you know, uh, Mongolian. Maybe I'm an idiot, but what did he do? <laughs> he was the one that. Uh, what did he do? He was. Uh, I always think of a wrestler. He was trying to take over the was world. He a wrestler? Man, you think of uh, like Napoleon and people that try to take over the world. Yeah. And they said that he's. Like a Hitler. Uh, Mm. Oh. It was actually probably worse than Hitler when it came to <gasps> killing people. Oh yeah, he actually physically went out there. Hardcore Histories podcast. I listened to this thing on him, and I, God, I'm glad I'll listen to it tonight. 
and finished listening to it, and it just went about Genghis Khan. I guess just because it's right on my mind. Yeah. Just he was a, just a a genius when it came to like war, and then back then, you know, the art of it, and he just just old school, just <sighs> before Christ type stuff. Yeah, that's you know, and I, I think I don't think he he was definitely twelve hundred AD. I think, hmm. but I'm totally. Probably crushing that date and being yeah. weird. I'm just horrible with Reckoning. history. Like I am, like that is my war. It's so funny because I love to hear about it, yeah. but I'm just horrible at it. Wrath of the Khan, uh, hardcore history. Mm -hmm. I'll send it to you, dude. It's Wrath of the Khan, dude. You learn so like much like through a, that um, stuff now. Sounds like a, a movie that The Rock's gonna be in. You know, I thought with Star Wrath uh, Star Trek. Khan. Yeah, yeah, because his name was Khan. I've yeah. never seen. It. I'm not a big Star. Only Star Trek I like is. Next generation. Do you like that? That's the only one I think. I think a lot of people. If you say you don't like Star Trek, but Next Generation's a good one. But was he a nice guy? Like, no. Would you want, well, then why would you want to bring him to dinner? I mean, you're right. I mean, no, no, no. I'm not dissing. You can bring him because well, because you have Jesus and <laughs> Genghis Khan. But hopefully, he would be civil enough to, you know. I think George Washington would keep him straight, though. <sighs> I mean, I think George Washington could be like, hey, hey, hey. Well, Jesus, Jesus wouldn't say nothing to him. Just be like, Genghis Khan. Yeah. But you yeah. got to also think that. I, I was just trying to think of just people, people. that I'm fascinated, like you're interested fascinated in. Exactly, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, you're yeah. right. As far as the dinner goes, no, you don't want Genghis Khan at your dinner. That's true. I guess we should just yeah. say instead of dinner. Because he's a vegan. We could, so was it. That was a horrible discussion. I guess I should have, like, normally like to just throw topics at you. I should have. Yeah, but you should have picked, like, two. Yeah. And two. we could have ran with it. Two would have been Lucille Ball and Robin Williams. Then. That Those would have been your two? Yeah. Because I think if you toss in Joseph from the Bible, I would like to have like I'd like to have a quick breakfast with him, just to get his in his head a little bit, and then Michael Jackson. I do a lunch with Michael Jackson, but like dinners who like I want to hear jokes. I want to hear about their careers, you know. Because Lucy and them, that was back in the day when like men and women slept, slept in separate beds on TV. Nowadays, people are like banging each other like on ABC. <laughs> yeah, like in you know what I mean. So imagine like the censors, and you're still trying to be funny, but the censors and and also, she was just such a rare. Um, she was such, she was one of the first physical comedians. Like she'd fall into a glass wood. You know what I mean? I love when they talk about physical right. comedians. She was just one of the first ones. Yeah. I'm ready for our aftercast. Yeah, you wanted to get started for I'm it. Anticipating it. Let's do it. All right, favorite Christmas song before we go. Favorite Christmas song ever. You make me pick. I would have two. to say Little Wayne's Lollipop. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could be. No. Um, Man, I don't really like. I guess Rudolph's Red Nose Reindeer. That's a good one. That's a good one. I love. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's probably one. It's Last Christmas by Wham. I will tell you a funny story about that. As soon as uh, this as is soon as this is over, does it deal with popcorn buckets and movie theaters in the back row? Yep. See y'all in the aftercast. Bye. Thanks for listening, everybody. Drug that out there. Dan. I know we like first time we're not like improv in it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, with well, that script, man, it was good. <laughs> See y'all in the next one. Bye.